hello guys yeah welcome to my channel and today we are continuing with my series on the bony pelvis the last time i said we were going to talk about the measurement or the diameters of the bony pelvis so because we know that we have the brim the cavity and the outlet we just go to talking about the measurements of the diameters now the diameters are called the anterior posterior diameter the oblique diameter and the transverse diameter this diameter these are the three major diameters that we measure to um, give us an idea as to how adequate your pelvis is and you have this guy here to remind us that the reason why we are worrying ourselves about learning about the pelvis is that the fetal head passes through it out and so the condition of your pelvis will determine whether you can have a normal birth or you need to be assisted great so moving on to the diameters of the brim or the inlet we talk about the first diameter that is anterior posterior i told you that this is the anterior part of the pelvis and the sacral area is the posterior part so when we say anterior posterior it means we are measuring from front to back or back to front so the anterior posterior diameter for the brim or the inlet is measured from the sacral promontory to the upper border of the symphysis pubis sacral promontory upper border of the symphysis pubis and it is normally 11 centimeters so anything below 11 centimeters means that your pelvis might not be adequate now the second measurement or second diameter is the oblique diameter oblique means slanted so from one sacroiliac joint to the opposite iliopectineal eminence that is your oblique diameter and for the brim it is always uh, normally 12 so anything below 12 is a red flag now the next thing is your transverse diameter so it's between two widest points and it is often 13 centimeters so for the diameters of the brim you have ap or anterior posterior as 11 the transverse diameter as 12 and then the the oblique diameter as 12 and then the transverse diameter as 13 so 11 12 13 good now we'll move to the cavity so to measure the anterior posterior diameter of the cavity we are going to measure between the second and third sacral um bone up to the midpoint of the symphysis pubis so the set the junction between the second and third bone sacral bone to the midpoint of your symphysis pubis is where you measure the cavity now we assume that the symphysis pubis is round and because it is round it means that if we get an ap diameter of 12 the diameters of each uh, other diameters will be the same because when you look at a circle, the diameters are equal in all directions. So if AP is 12, then it means that oblique 2 will be 12. And then transverse will also be 12. Now the next diameter is the diameters of the outlet, the pelvic outlet. So for the AP diameter, we measure it from the lower border of the symphysis pubis to the sacral coccygeal joint. The the lower border of the symphysis pubis to the sacrococcygeal joint that will give you an ap diameter and then normally it is 13 centimeters now for the oblique diameter um it is difficult because if you look at the oblique part of the the outlet it is filled with ligaments so we often want to assume that the oblique diameter tallies with the oblique diameter of the of the inlets or the brim so we assume that we've already measured the oblique diameter of the brim and then we have agreed that it is 12 centimeters and so because we are using it to estimate the oblique diameter of the outlet we also assume that the oblique diameter of the outlet is also 12 centimeters now it is left with the transverse diameter now the transverse diameter is measured between the ischial spines the two ischial spines so you measure from here to here and then you get your 
transverse diameter and it is often about um, 11 centimeters good so AP is between the lower border of the symphysis pubis and the sacrococcygeal joints the transverse is between the two ischial spine and the oblique we always take the oblique of the brim to also use it for as the oblique of the the outlet because where we are supposed to measure oblique the diameter is filled with ligaments and you can't get an accurate measurement so mind you all these measurements that we are talking about the most accurate way to to measure is by using um, x-ray pelvimetry good so that is that for the measurements and diameters and so we would like to end our class here for today the next time we meet we'll be talking about this guy the fetal scar because it is the reason why we are worrying ourselves with this so we'll continue our conversation with the fetal scar please if you have not subscribed consider subscribing liking and then sharing with your friends bye have a nice day